Hey everybody, this is Mount to Do Soldier playing Resident Evil. Uh, the, this is the original game that came out, uh, on, was released on uh, GOG.com, and this is the original PC port of the game. I know I've done a, a video, um, I've done a playthrough of the original, uh, well, the, the director's cut of this for the PlayStation. And I'm actually going to be doing this version because I think it's a little... Well, I won't say better. I mean, it's it, it's a little better, on <laughs> kind of. Oh wait, I won't skip that part. Um, yeah, I um, last time I did a playthrough of this game was uh, it was actually back uh, around four years ago. It started in December 2020 when the when the pandemic was still going on uh, and the entire world was like at a standstill. And four years later, I decided to actually uh, redo this one because uh, on my previous playthrough, I've noticed my videos were a little dark. And also considering that I actually went through the game four times, two with each character with uh, different modes such as original and advanced. And looking back, I should have just done the playthroughs in advanced instead of going through both original and advanced modes. But uh, this one here, it only has one difficulty, so it's, you know, pretty much straightforward. And we are going to be starting a new game. This uh, game has the, the uncut colored uh, introduction. Resident Evil. Unlike the director's cut or the PlayStation version or whatever version there is, it is in black and white and censored. So... Uh, yeah, if your discretion is advised, we're going to start with Jill. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Run for that house! 
Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. They have escaped into the mansion, where they thought it was safe. Yes. What is this? Wow! What a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! Dining room. All right, we started in the dining hall. Where we have the Beretta, the knife, which is pretty much useless in the game. We have a first aid spray. We're just gonna run forward. Follow to the end of the What? Table. What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Yeah, right, we're going to go into this, go through this door. We can just skip the door animations. That's another uh, perk about the PC port. The iconic uh, zombie encounter, we'll just run back out here. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Okay, we'll just head back out to the main hall. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. We could just uh, run to the back here. Just go across, head back out. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. Alright, we're not going to go through that door yet. We're actually going to head back to the dining hall. Well, to the one hall where we encountered the zombie. 
want to apologize about uh, my voice on the previous video when I got down with Metal of Honor Underground because uh, I had my mic volume at 70% instead of 80 because I've noticed the past, for the past uh, several videos that my uh, my microphone, I guess when I was testing the recordings, uh, I heard some noise background and it was a little distracting. You could barely hear my voice. We're going to examine Kenneth's body for two Emma clips. Yeah, two Emma clips. That's a little sneaky of them adding a second clip there. Alright, now there is. Yeah, yeah, that zombie's dead. Yeah. And they remake uh, that the zombie that Barry is supposed to have, well, allegedly, uh. Kill was actually didn't make a difference in the hallway. And we did pick up the emblem earlier. I forgot to mention that. Uh, because we're going to be doing this since uh, we're able to get through this door. Because if you're playing as Chris, you want to be able to access the store right away because you need the sword key. But Jill does need the sword key because she has the lockpick. Alright, here's the piano. We're going to use the music notes on it. Yeah, it's Moonlight Sonata. A secret room. Let's pick up the gold elbow. Oh, we're trapped. Oh, well, that's why we got that emblem from the dining hall. the shield key. I'm off on uh, 4th of July, which will be uh, just a couple days from now. Well, one day, since it'll be past uh, midnight for me recording this. Uh, I may be going to Adwa Park because I don't know, I don't know if uh, anything else is going on. Brother's going to be working the night of 4th of July. And I'm off, luckily, so I may just uh, enjoy going to Edwell. Alright, now we could go to the other side. Uh, let's make sure I have enough inventory spaces. Three spaces. Uh, there aren't really any key items. Oh, wait, I think there are some, um, yeah, no, no need to, because, um, when I went through Jill's campaign, uh, just the other day, and on, through the first, uh, playthrough, you don't need ink ribbons. Somebody don't need ink ribbons, and, yeah, we're just going to dodge these two. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm not going to waste any time with them. And I'm not sure about this one. But I know when you play as Chris, uh, he, he does need ink ribbons. Uh, let's see, maybe I can... Nah. I don't think I should have picked that up. Actually, I do have enough uh, inventory spaces because we're going to be picking up the shotgun here. Yeah, that is a trap, but don't worry, because Barry is going to be saving us. Just check both doors. Yeah, they're locked. Is that 
you, Jill? What happened? Harry, help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Harry! This way! Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But Barry, didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. Two zombies here. I think. Oh wait! I can't believe I didn't equip the handgun yet. Usually, four to six shots should do it. I don't know if that one's dead. All right, now he's dead. There's one left, and yeah, there's one left. going to work on our first puzzle of the game. When I was a kid, uh, maybe like 10 or 11 or so, I was so stuck on this one because I wasn't, I didn't really understand the puzzle of this. Alright, on that picture it says if you were to push that button but the crows would uh, go crazy. It says, bring me a piece of death and I'll give you the joy of life. So we're going to go through the life cycle here. We're going to start with this picture of a newborn baby. And a picture of a, an infant, and that is actually right here. Yeah. Push that one. Okay, lively boy. That's this one. Alright, young man is this one. Tired middle aged man. Then bald looking old man. Then we can push this, push the button on this main picture. Picture of people mourning for the dead. You know. And we got the star crust. There are four crusts in here. Outside. So for now, we are going to be going through the store, unlocking it. There should be uh, just one zombie here. Yeah. Load a little bit. Two. Oh! Okay, I missed. Wait, whoa, wait. That only took. No, that can't be right. Wow! That only took. Maybe two shots? That's weird. I did not expect that. Uh, yeah, there's a green herb here, but I'm not gonna bother picking it up. I'm not going to be, uh, picking up a good bit of the green herbs because, uh, we may not actually need them. Uh, let's see, there are a couple of clips here. Put the shotgun away, the star crust. Uh, the shield key, well, we'll put first aid spray. Uh, I'm going to only mix, um, healing items that I actually need for maybe boss fights. But if any healing items in general, um, probably not really to save an inventory space. But I'll, uh, collect some green herbs. Yeah. Okay, we've got the chemical. Um, I don't know if... I can save this, okay. Uh, let's see, what time is it? Yeah, 20. Yeah, save my progress. Nah, not now. I'll play this a little longer. What if. 
maybe after I use this, I'll, I'll, I'll save for the first time. Put the first aid spray away. Hold on to that. The shield key. Well. Nah. Two zombies here. One, two, three, four, five. And wait. Okay, go. Oh, oh, man, wait. I've got those two uh, ammo clips. They're in the item box. I gotta head back down. I was wondering why I was a little low on ammo. seen Barry again here. Barry! Jill! What's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa! This hall is dangerous! Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. We get acid rounds. Okay, the weapon we need for those acid rounds are going to be in the room. Uh, right here. There's the bazooka, and Forrest's body is right there. And. Just pick up the bazooka. Don't try to um, examine uh, Forrest because then crows will start attacking. In this game, well, this version of the game, yeah, Forrest won't uh, wake up as a zombie. That's only in the director's cut. Alright, now let's go to the other side. There are two zombies. Well, this one we can just kill. Because by the time we. Wait, wait. Take... Is this one dead? Yeah, he's dead. So by the time we push the statue off, uh, we should be able to move. Move out. Now, yeah, come on. Oh, that was close. Oh, oh, no, no, he isn't dead. Alright, he's dead. 
I don't bother killing these three zombies because they always uh, reset in the same positions, so they can easily be avoided. Alright, I'm going to put the bazooka away. Acid rounds. Just reset. Just, oh crap, oh crap, oh, okay. Um, yeah, that door needs the armor key. Which is what we're going to go for. Alright. Four. Yeah, four shots for that one. And, yeah. I think there's all one zombie here. Oh, no, two, two. That's wrong. And he is down. Yeah. Alright, now let's use lockpick on this door. Clip right here. Okay. We'll try to look at this uh, diary for the closet to open. One, two, three, four, and I'm not gonna bother. Okay, he's dead. I'm gonna say, just knock him down and grab the shells and get out. the chemical. Yep, time to use the chem chemical. Alright, now the plant is dead. We're going to pick up some of these green herbs. Well, Green and red mix. Just grab one green, one red each. And yeah, I'm not gonna bother picking those up. Now we have the armor key. Alright, we are going to go through that door that we walked past earlier. Alright, and here is... Uh, there's one desk. Uh, yeah, there's an Emma clip here. There's the broken shotgun, but we uh we technically don't need it because well <laughs> Barry saved us. Now Chris will need this broken shotgun on his playthrough. Let's open this desk. Get more shotgun shells. Oh. Dang, I think I kind of screw that up. Yeah, I screw that up now. Let's head back. I messed up the timing on that. All right, I'll put these. Uh, I'll put these away. Then we'll uh, save and call it a night. Okay, so on the next video we'll be uh, making more, uh, make more use of the armor key and explore more of the mansion. This is Mount To Do Soldier signing off, and I'll see you next time.